Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day and I am so excited to talk about this little guy right here. Um, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Shenrell and I'm um, apparently obsessed with taupe eyeshadow because I could not resist this little guy. And um, I also always start off my videos with tea of the day. So today's tea of the day is from a brand called, <laughs> got a sample, Rainy Day Tea Company. Can you see it? There we go. I try not to dump the tea at the end. And this is their Lavender Earl Grey, which I feel like could be either really good or really bad. And this one is really good. The lavender flavor is really strong. Like I opened the bag and it was very, very aromatic. And I was like, oh yes. Oh, that's so, so wonderful. If you're against bergamot, so you don't like Earl Grey, but you like lavender, something like this would be worth checking out. Super, super yummy. So you guys saw me ooing and aahing over this on Instagram and I couldn't help it. I bought it as soon as it dropped and I have to be honest I almost immediately regretted it especially considering the pictures of this looked so gray and I do have a lot of taupe already <laughs> and a lot of them are more gray and I'm like great did I just buy more gray taupe like I really didn't need that I'm so so happy to say that this is they are not gray taupes in my mind they are true taupe so I was not quite sure what to expect of eyeshadows from Glossier. Let's start first with the packaging. It feels nice and heavy. Like the packaging is really sturdy. This would absolutely be something I would toss in a makeup bag. It's like a, I don't know, a tin outer packaging. And the inner packaging is supposed to be refillable. So you can see this little thing, this little spot here where you could stick your nail in. You're supposed to be able to pop that off when this is empty and buy a new one to pop in. Buying it in a complete set like this, it is a $22 thing. I'm going to have to look up and see how much the refills are. I'll put that on the screen because I have not checked. With their initial launch, they came in, I believe, 10 different shades and of course all monochrome. That's like the whole theme of these, monochromatic, which I was instantly like totally down for. I like to have fun with my eyeshadows, but there are other days where this is absolutely <laughs> something I don't have to think about and yet somehow turns out looking good. At least I think so. Let's go over to the swatches. So starting with the matte, I have to admit I had to build it up several times to get just that not very intense shade. So that's something to keep in mind if you have more pigmented skin. The matte may be, you know, something that doesn't show up on you very well. The satin I thought was very nice. Definitely more pigmented than the matte. And the most surprising to me was actually the shimmer. I was expecting, I don't know, sort of a more foiled shimmer, but these are actually more of one of, I feel like my favorite formulas where it's more twinkly and it looks wet on the skin. Like, oh my goodness, I got so excited when I swatched <laughs> that shimmer. I'll talk a little bit more about the formula at the end. So let's go straight to the eye look that I did. Of course, I started with the matte and it being not pigmented it was extremely easy to use I didn't have to worry about it catching anywhere on my hooded eyes or loose skin everything just blended out super beautifully next I went in with the satin all over my lid which I know a lot of people do prefer satin they don't want something too bright and sparkly I thought this was a really good option for those who don't want a sparkly eye look and then I went and topped it the whole thing with the shimmer and I gotta say I do love the effect it does have that more twinkly eye look versus the super foiled eye look and therefore it doesn't highlight texture on the lids which is one of the things that I really hate about super foiled eyeshadows. Not all formulas do it as bad as others do but this one it doesn't at all enhance texture it just looks kind of wet. I love it. I love 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 that look. So then to finish off the look I just tight lined with my wet and wild summer brown now eyebrow or not eyebrow pencil eyeliner and then use the Oma Beauty mascara for my top lashes and benefit their reel for my bottom lashes. I'm happy with how the eyeshadow look turned out. I feel like it's very daytime appropriate and honestly even nighttime appropriate if especially you put on some more liner but it actually really surprised me. Like I said I was expecting more of a gray toned taupe. I was so happy to find that it's more of the, I don't know, beigey taupe that I think of when I think of taupe. And even though the matte is not very pigmented, like I said, I had to really build it up to get my little swatch here on my arm. It is really, really pleasantly textured, like super fine milled, and it blended out very, very easily on my eye. Like it's one of those, it's very pleasing to the touch. <laughs> so if you're someone who doesn't like super pigmented eyeshadows, because let's, let's be honest, they can be very tricky to work with. You're after something that's very easy to use and doesn't skip around the eye. 
I thought this was so nice. I really, really enjoyed it. Again, it's not gonna be your thing if you want a pigmented matte. Also not gonna be your thing if you're after a super foiled look. I think it will be your thing if you're after the twinkly wet eyelid look. And of course, <laughs> It will be your thing if you like a monochromatic look. You know, you've only got one option here in this little trio. But if you like a lot of options in your palettes, obviously this wouldn't be something that you'd be searching out. I do like the mirror that comes in it. I feel like it's a nice quality mirror. And the quality of the shadows, I have to say, I think that they're really, really good. $22 for three of these, not bad. Especially if you're used to buying single shadows, you'll know that three shadows in the indie world can add up to a lot more than $22 for just three. That being said, if you do have an extensive single eyeshadow collection, I would suggest, you know, if you like this idea, <laughs> creating your own little palette first. But if you like the idea of a very sturdy container like this that can be put into a makeup bag, I do feel like things would be pretty safe in here. This It's it's kind of chunky, to be honest, but I do feel like the shadows are safe in there. So after it's all been said and done, I'm happy I chose this shade. This shade, by the way, it's not, they don't call it taupe, they call it um, jute. <laughs> and for a while I was like, no, I should have gotten the green one or like the more mauve one, but I am happy with it. If you tried any of the other colors, let me know if the formula is the same for you in those, especially as regards that twinkly metallic. I'd love to know if the other ones are the same way. I think this was a really smart release from Glossier. You know, their whole aesthetic kind of being the no makeup makeup look. For someone who enjoys that look, they're not gonna want a ton of different colors on their eyes. Monochromatic look is always going to be a good option. And honestly, I like the formula enough. I'm tempted to get others, which I'm, I really need to not, but I'm tempted. All right, I think that's it for my little review of this. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.